Hi Booktube, my name is Juan, I am Just One Reader, and today I would like to talk about Troubled Blood by J.K. Rowling. This is the fifth installment in the Cormoran Strike Detective series, which she has been writing for a few years now, under the name Robert Galbraith. Now, I must confess, I wanted to read this book for two reasons, mainly. The first reason is because I have enjoyed this series so far, even though it certainly has its flaws, and I was excited to follow the characters on their next adventure. But the second reason was probably more interesting and more important. I wanted to see what this book really was for myself. I wanted to see if it was, in fact, as problematic and potentially transphobic as many people have claimed it to be. I have always been against cancel culture or censorship of any kind, and I firmly believe that, as a reader, it is important to remain open-minded and never lose the ability to think critically even when, or especially when, discussing a controversial piece of literature. Challenging oneself in that way can be very fruitful, and it can lead to a more nuanced, empathetic way of looking at the world. Well, that's just my opinion, you can agree or disagree. So, I read Troubled Blood with a particular sense of care and dedication trying not only to enjoy the story, but also to see what was going on backstage. Or in other words, trying to see what J.K. Rowling was doing or trying to say between the lines. I was surprised to find that this book, Troubled Blood, has many problems, but it is not problematic in the slightest. So let me explain further. This book has many problems, a lot of them. Seriously, a lot of problems, a lot. It is insanely long, coming in at a whopping 927 pages. It's a crime detective thriller, so this results in weird pacing, sometimes dragging and sometimes flying along. There is an incredibly huge cast of characters, some of which I completely forgot about or lost track of. As with previous installments in this series, J.K. Rowling comes up with thousands of plot lines, mysteries, theories, possibilities, clues, hints, details, which start to feel overwhelming to the reader. She tries to fit many different books in one. So, Troubled Blood is part melodrama, part soap opera, part detective interrogation novel, part satanic pagan ritual story, yes, you heard it right, part satanic pagan ritual story, part the godfather mafia noir, and part thriller. The combination of all of these ingredients can be exciting at times, but it can also feel like just too freaking much. Another huge problem I had with the book was the ending itself, just like with the previous book, Lethal White. The ending to the story was so overcomplicated and hard to follow that I struggled to find it completely satisfying. Now, those are the book's problems. However, it is not a problematic book. It is not a problematic book in the way that many people who haven't even read it think that it is problematic and therefore have decided they should cancel it. Now, I do believe that J.K. Rowling said some comments in social media in a snarky, probably very defensive way, and many people got from that the impression that Troubled Blood was a book about transphobia, transphobic characters, or maybe promoting a transphobic agenda or something to that effect. So now that I have actually read the book, all of it, all 927 pages of it, I want to clarify. Let me be extremely clear here. This book is not transphobic. It is not. This is not a matter of opinion or belief, it's just a fact. 
It's about what's actually in the book. The book is not transphobic. Of course, the reader can agree or disagree with the author on a political or personal level, but that's just another topic of conversation. But this book, Troubled Blood, as an entity, is actually promoting a feminist agenda. It talks very intensely and very sharply about gender equality. I would say that the book's message is very much about empowering people uh, and promoting women, uh, empowering women in particular, and I really commend it for that. So I think, I think this book, Troubled Blood, is really a strange thing because um, in and of itself it is definitely feministic, but it came from an author who has been recently considered problematic by some people. Again, that's another worthwhile discussion. And on top of everything, it was announced in a way that made it seem like something it certainly is not. So the only advice I can give you is to think critically, to keep an open mind, and as with any other book, read it for yourself and make your own judgment. Thinking, debating, and posing questions is always much more fruitful and mature than just canceling or censorship culture. In the end, I gave Troubled Blood by J.K. Rowling three out of five stars. I enjoyed the characters and the mystery well enough, but it's definitely bloated. It's filled with too much information and it's just crying out for an editor because 927 pages of this just felt quite ridiculous. Thank you for watching and as always, let's keep the mind open and the conversation going.